August 23, 1982, continued. <clears throat> we got a ride with Alex, who was born in Argentina, has an Italian passport, and has lived in Oxford for two months. <clears throat> he lived in North London for two years. He has a double accent. He had, quite, he had done quite a bit of hitching, and he offered us a ride to Holland, which I'd like to take up on. So anyways, he dropped us in Oxford after he bought us some tea and coffee, and we walked around there a bit. Everything, the buildings, are so massive and so old. England is incredible. We went through this Oxford museum or library from the olden days and perused original medieval manuscripts. There was also a letter written by Virginia Woolf, which I stuck my nose in and read. August 25th, 1982. England is very much like Meadville. It drips. So I don't really mind the rain, except the next day, yesterday, was pretty bad. It rained freezing, cold rain, and it was just our luck that nobody would pick us up. So we waited in the rain for several hours. My thumb was frozen in the up position. I'm going to start where I left off. So here we go. We walked around extremely touristy Oxford for ages. We got our picture taken at Woolworths, goofy, and got a ride into Cheltenham with Jeff, the guy with the army commando sweater. We drove through and all the buildings were old and looked the same, 17th, 18th century, probably older. Uh, we walked through Cheltenham. We originally weren't going to go there, but we decided, what the hell? Jeff was easy to talk to and came from a village of 15 people. We walked around the mall, not like our version of the mall, bought bread, heard Pink Floyd in one of the stores. We walked through the small, lovely town, bought stamps, and sat outside the post office. At our turning point, after we hiked about two miles, we met the funny little St. David's man. St. David's was the town where David and I were from. And he kept saying, St. David's, St. David's. <laughs> he was very tickled by the fact that we were from St. David's. St. David's. Then we got a ride right away from the spastic map guy with curly black hair who knew all the hills' names. He dropped us in the middle of nowhere, and for two hours we sat hitching, contemplating sending the tent up in the field next to us and cooking a chiman. Then we decided to move our place, and immediately the young blonde with a wife who hitched about France picked us up and drove us to Evesham. I'm a boy, I'm a boy, but my mom won't admit it. I'm a boy, if I say I am, I get it. Do, 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 do.